Hi! My name is Evil Breed. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Evil Breed back with another quick video. Um, I am currently playing the pre-patch of Legion. Uh, actually, as you can tell, I am playing a Gnome Hunter. So stoked for the Gnome Hunter. Like, I main Hunter. I like the little short shit races. I think it's like a weird opposite complex. Like, I'm 6'2 on a good day with my spine not, you know, falling apart, but... You know, I average six, six, one, six, two, and you know, one of the things that I find quite funny is I always like playing the little races, I like the goblins, I like the gnomes. It's just whatever. Um, anyway, playing the pre-patch. First off, first thing, first impressions. Well, they definitely increased a few things that made me, you know, extremely happy. Draw distance is up. Excuse me. Wow. As you can tell, draw distance is pretty fucking far. Um. Just looking on the horizon here, you can somewhat see it. You can see how far it's drawn these trees. It's almost drawn the trees out to Lock Wadon. Now, I haven't really screwed around with my settings yet. I am only rocking a GTX 970, but everything's still on the Ultra preset. It's got graphics quality now at, like, at a 7, whatever the hell that is. Um, but yeah. Yeah, as you can see, you know, this is this is what I'm dealing with, you know... As far as graphics, they've definitely increased, you know, worked on some graphics. They made things like, look at this cat, you know, they, they've, they've done a lot of, fixed a lot of old textures that looked outdated and looked bad. Look chancla, the best way to say it. So, that being said, of course, you know, it's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, Gnome Hunters, graphics presets are pretty good. I would have to say, though, the coolest thing I've seen in the, so far is after, you know, of course, playing around with all my countless level 100s, and I do, in, you know, insinuate countless, 18 to be exact. Um, I do really, really love the appearance tab. Now, I know I probably don't have much on this character already other than a few random unlocks, which, oh my god. Wouldn't he look awesome like that? <laughs> He's actually, no, I'm totally going to do the, the Admiral's hat on him. Um, but you know, like, yeah, the, the random appearance tab is pretty cool. You, you know, I've completely transmog every one of my, every one of my characters because the transmog was so sick. Now, I'm the, out of range. the funny thing I actually hear, uh, that I, that I got to screw around with on my higher level hunter is they brought back one of our favorite skills for people that have played hunters, especially back in Burning Crusades and even into the first part of Wrath of the Lich King, is they brought back Volley. Not in the sense where it's a skill that we click and we use volley, but more so in the sense where it's a skill that automatically procs when you're when you're shooting. All your auto attacks become AOE attacks, and it's the same basic principle. Arrows rain from the sky. I thought that was really. Cool. Uh, what you just saw me use was actually the new aspect of the cheetah. Aspect of the cheetah is no longer a skill like it used to be, where it's a um a thing that you know basically is aspect of the stun. Aspect of the pack is gone. Aspect of the cheetah is now a special ability. What it does is it increases your movement speed for three seconds by a lot, and then 30 or 30 percent for nine seconds. So you get a little bit, and then you, you get a huge amount of speed for a short while, and then you get a little bit of speed for a longer while. It's pretty much it. it's it's an escape route or a fast movement option for the hunter now. So it's probably really going to be very viable in PvP. Uh, anyway, you know, I'm definitely liking the, obviously, the addition of Gnome Hunter. You get a mechanical pet. Makes me wonder if the other mechanicals that are in the world can you tame them. Definitely gonna have to find out. Um, or they're gonna be more in Legion. I didn't get to play the beta, so I'm going off what I know. Um, yeah, it's, it's so far doing pretty great. I'm actually gonna be doing a, you know, a close-up video. I shouldn't say close-up, it's a bad term. I'm going to be doing a real impressions video. This is just first impressions of what I think. I've been playing it a little bit. Kind of getting used to what the new stuff is and stuff like that. But I haven't really, you know, delved really deep into the pre-patch yet. So I can't give you an honest, like, well, it sucks, well, it's great. I'm happy that it's bringing people back to WoW. And the amount of people that have come back, WoW tokens dropped about 6K, which is freaking awesome. So, um, but yeah, thank you. You know, that, so keep an eye out for that video. Keeping out from others, I'm going to keep a little bit more on a serious level for my Let's Plays coming up. Uh, it seems that most people, they, they like the Steve, but they don't like it seeing all the time. So, I'm going to try and keep it serious. But yeah, thank you guys for subscribing. Hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. There's always a lot more videos to come. 
uh, we're going to do an in-depth breakdown of the UI and everything that's changed, you know, in a coming video. So, but yeah, hit, hit subscribe, hit like, throw some comments at me. I, I, I respond to all comments. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great night, great morning, great evening, great afternoon, whatever time it is.